Okay, good morning everyone, Lexi here. Today I'm going to be going over Blender camera controls and just uh, some real simple intro to Blender tools. Uh, this is obviously for the beginners out there. If you've already messed around with Blender, some of this stuff's probably going to be familiar. Alright, so I have SimSource Studio open. I'm just going to export this mesh so we can play around with it. Uh, Okay, so we're going to open this up. Uh, as you can see, I've got my mesh here. So let's talk about the camera controls. Uh, first thing I want to go over is the middle mouse button. Uh, so if you scroll in using your middle mouse button, as you can see, you zoom in. Uh, if you scroll uh, your middle mouse button back, you zoom out. If you hit shift and uh, you know scroll your middle mouse button, you sort of pan up and down. If you hit control in your middle mouse button, uh, and you scroll your middle mouse button, uh, you see you pan here uh, right to left. Um, if you hold down your middle mouse button and then kind of move your mouse around, as you can see, it sort of tilts around on this, this axis here. If I hit shift and do the same thing, so I'm hitting shift and I'm holding down my middle mouse button, uh, you can see the camera, I kind of can move around here. Uh, with those, those camera controls, you can get pretty close. Here I'm zooming in and then hitting shift and holding down my middle mouse button again, kind of moving around. I can sort of pan around here. Um, for really uh, more precise uh, camera actions, uh, you've got your number pad. And so if I hit uh, one on my number pad, as you can see here, it sort of centers the object. Uh, this is really good if you want to make precise cuts, like if I want to cut down the middle of this or, you know, uh, slice it in half. Uh, if I then hit um, control one, it swings it around to the back. Uh, and then if I hit three, as you can see, I will see the left side of the, the mesh here. Control three, I see the opposite side. If I hit, uh, let's go back to one again. If I hit nine, sorry, seven. <laughs> if I hit seven, I see a top down view. If I hit control seven, uh, I'll see the bottom down view. Um, if I've got it in the front facing view here and I just wanna tilt it on this uh, axis here, I can actually hit eight. And as you can see, it sort of rotates it while maintaining uh, you know, its orientation here. And again, I can hit two if I wanna you know, come back here. Uh, six will rotate it, uh, you know, left to right, and again, I can hit four and kind of go back. Let's go back to one. So those are your general uh, kind of camera functions. Uh, now let's talk about your, your tools that you can use in Blender. So if you have a mesh selected, I've just right-clicked this mesh. As you can see, it's, it's outlined in uh, this sort of yellow color. Um, when I do that, you can see over in your panel here, that mesh is highlighted. Um, so this is the mesh we're working with right now. Um, if I want to hide this mesh, uh, I can just uh, click this little eyeball here, and as you can see, I've hidden it. That'd be if I wanted to mess with the shadow only or something like that. You could also select meshes by just clicking over in this panel. Uh, you know, here if I, I click Studio Mesh 0, you can see kind of faintly here the, the shadow is outlined in orange here. And again, if I wanted to hide that, I could just click the little eyeball. Um, if you're having trouble selecting stuff, like say I wanted to uh, come over here to this mesh and I want to delete it. Uh, as you can see, you know, I've got it selected, I'm hitting delete, it's not doing anything. Make sure your little, uh, your little cursor here is highlighted. Uh, you know, so if I want to delete it then, it can delete. Uh, Control Z is undo, just in kind of, same as any other uh, application typically. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I've right-clicked my, my mesh here. I've got it separated. Let me, uh, I'm just going to move my UV map portion kind of to the left here. So we can take a look at the mesh. So I'm in object mode right now. Uh, if I'm in object mode and I want to move this thing around, I can hit G. And as you can see, you like, whoa, I've moved it around. Um, but if I want to get more precise with things, I can go in here and hit edit mode. Uh, when I do that, you can see the, all these little black lines and these little black dots. The black lines are edges. The black dot are dots are vertices. Um, like this is a little vertex here, you can see. Uh, and the the 
space in between those, those are called faces, uh, just to kind of give you a general idea. So if I right click, uh, or rather, you know, yeah, there we go. So if I right click one of these, uh, you can see that I've got the vertex here highlighted. That's because I'm in vertex select mode. Like if I wanted to highlight this whole face, I would have to come over here down to this little panel right here. Uh, and I would click this little, <clears throat> looks like the side of a cube here in orange. And you can see there I've selected that and I've got the little faces that I can, I can select. If I want to deal just with edges, again, I come down here and I click the little, the little edge. You can see it's a little edge that's highlighted in orange. And that way I, I just deal with the edges. And again, if you want to just deal with the vertices, it looks like a dot over here in the corner and I can get that done. So let's go to, go to face select. So there's a couple different ways that you can select faces. Uh, the, I showed you the right clicking method. Obviously that, you know, I'm just right clicking. I'm only able to select one at a time. If I hit shift and right click, I can, you know, add on to that. Um, let's hit A for all or none. So again, if I hit A, I select all. If I hit it again, I, I select none. Uh, so another way you can select or rather, you know, highlight faces, if I hit the B button, you can see I've got a little crosshairs here. Holding down the left mouse button and dragging, I can make a box. That'll select all the faces that are within that box. A for all or none. Um, let's talk about the, the C brush, which is kind of personally my favorite. If I hit C, I get this little, you can see a little circle. If I scroll in and out using my middle mouse button, you can see the circle gets smaller or bigger. If I then uh, take that circle and I like say come over here and do that, you can see it, it's like a it's like a brush. I'm selecting faces using a brush, and you know if I hit my middle mouse button and do that same thing, uh, you can see I deselect stuff. Um, and again, you know if I make the brush bigger, I can select a, a larger part or deselect a larger part. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> now that we've gone over that, uh, if you wanted to uh, delete a, a face, it's really easy. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, let's say, delete this pillow here. I can do it a couple ways. I can hit the B for box, and then just kind of box in pieces. I'm hitting A there to make it all go away. I can hit C, you know, and then come in here with the C brush and, and select that, and then hit middle bu mouse button if I've if I've gone too far. Um, I also want to talk about the L button. So if, I, if I'm hovering over this and I've got the face mode selected and I hit L, it highlights everything that's sort of connected to whatever face I was hovered over. So you can see that's pretty convenient. It kind of selected the whole pillow, um, except for this little piece over here. Um, looks like I've got everything selected. I want to delete this pillow. I'm just going to go over here and hit delete. And as you can see, I get a little menu here. Uh, if I hit vertices, it deletes everything that's attached to any of those vertices. Um, if I hit edges, you know, it's only gonna delete things that are attached to the edges. If I hit faces, sometimes that'll leave edges and the little points, the little, little vertices. Um, so I'm actually gonna hit delete vertices. I want that whole thing to go away. As you can see, you know, <clears throat> Uh, behind that pillow on the actual texture, it was dark, it was like shadow. Uh, I'd have to go into like paint.net or something and, and get rid of that. Um, so let's hit control Z to undo that. Um, say I wanted to take this pillow and I wanted to like move it into the center of this, this couch here. If I hit G, which is for grab, and I hit X, as you can see, I get a little red line across the middle of my screen here, and that'll just move the pillow along this x-axis, which is which is left to right. Uh, and I can left mouse click if I like where it is, like, oh yeah, I like it there. You know, or if I've got, you know, G, X, and I'm doing that again, and I, and I decide I want to change my mind, I can just right click, and everything goes away, and it goes back to its original position. Uh, if I wanted to move the pillow like up or down, uh, again I can hit uh, G and this time on the Y, or sorry, G and then on the Z axis, Z is up and down. So as you can see, it, it kind of slides up and down here. Uh, G and then Y goes front to back, so if I wanted to scoot the pillow towards me, scoot the pillow back, you can see there it's, it's, it's come completely apart. Um, 
if I wanted to sort of free grab it, I could just hit G and then and then just sort of move the pillow around. Um, if I wanted to make the pillow smaller, I can hit S for scale. And as you can see, it, it sort of shrinks it. The same rules apply to those um, those other commands too. If I wanted to hit S and then X, as you can see, it shrinks it along that little red line. Um, S and Z will, you know, make it make it shorter. And then if I hit S and then Y, uh, as you can see, it makes it sort of, uh, you know, sort of thinner here. Um, if I wanted to say rotate the pillow, um, let me pull this, uh, pull this forward a little bit. If I wanted to rotate the pillow, I can rotate it a couple different ways. If I hit R, as you can see, it just sort of free rotates. Whoa. R, uh, Y will tilt it. Sorry, let me do this. R, Y, as you can see, sort of tilts it around this green line. R, X tilts it, tilts it back and forth here, as you can see. Then R, Z. Uh, tilts it left and right. Um, okay, so let's uh, kind of um, undo all these changes that I just did. Uh, so as you can see, you know, so now if I wanted to, if I wanted to say uh, take the peak of this and make it a little taller, I can I can do that. I'll I'll come over here to vertex select and I'll right click this and G and then Z to move up and down and as you can see it just moves that one uh, that one particular uh, vertex of the face that's attached to it. It'll move that up and down. Um, if I come over here to face select and, and I use the C brush I'll select a bigger portion of that. Uh, you know G and then Z again. As you can see you know it doesn't really stick together. Um, I can fix that. If I come in here and I want to say bring these these pieces up to connect to this, I come over here to the little dot again, vertex select. I'm going to right click the vertex I want this stuff to be attached to, shift and then S, which is um, you know snap, and then I hit cursor to selected and moves my cursor here. I'm wanting to bring these vertexes up to this, so I'll right click this, this uh, these vertices here. Shift S again, and this time I'm going to go uh, Selection to Cursor. And look at that, yeah, like pulled it up. And then I'll right click this one again, Shift S, um, Selection to Cursor. I can do that over here in the back too, again, selecting the place I want the stuff to go. Shift S, um, Cursor to Selected. Shift S again, Selection to Cursor, and I can do that um, kind of all around. And as you can see, uh, you know, it's not great looking right now. <laughs> it's a little weird looking, but as you can see, you know, I, I moved it up. Everything snapped into place. Uh, so let's undo that. All right, I undid what I, what I had just done. Um, and now I want to show you the proportional edit mode tool. The proportional edit mode tool works a little differently than, than what I just showed you. Um, so to get that, that mode activated, um, I can hit O. And as you can see, this little circle down here turns blue. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll let the little tooltip come up. See, it says proportional edit mode. Uh, like, watch it. I'll hit O again. O again. It goes away. O again. It shows up. So you want this little blue thing to uh, appear. Uh, let's let's do the C brush again. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I selected those faces. We can select these two over here in the back. Uh, and then now. <clears throat> I'm in proportional edit mode. I'm going to hit G, and I'm not going to move my mouse or anything. All I'm going to do is touch my scroll wheel. I'm going to scroll in using the scroll wheel. And as you can see, I get that little circle. That circle is our circle of influence. That, that tells us um, how far reaching what I'm about to do uh, is going to affect. So I've got that selected. I've got my circle around the, the little orange pieces here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit G and then Z. And... Uh, Sorry. Sorry, yeah, so now I'm going to hit G and then Z uh, and 
Now you can see I, I moved it up, but instead of coming, instead of the faces and edges separating, uh, the thing, everything moved up on its own. Uh, so if I, if I widen that, you know, if I select more faces over here and I, uh, I go hit G again and I make my circle a little bigger, uh, as you can see, yeah, you know, that, so play around with that effect a little. Um, as you can see, it, it has a very different effect when I do that. Um, you know, go in and make your circle a little smaller. Z again. Yeah, so just, just play around with that. Okay, so everything that we just did, we did in edit mode. Let's go to sculpt mode. Sculpt mode, as you can see, all your, uh, those lines went away, and now we've got some tools over here that I want to talk about. Um, actually, let's let's use a hair because hair hair is usually what I use the sculpt tool on. So let's go find let's go uh, find a hair. All right, so I went into Sims 4 Studio and I selected this hair, which is um, on the child mesh. I'm gonna hide the hat chops for right now. In another video, I talk about those. We're not gonna worry about that right now. <clears throat> I just want to show you guys the sculpt tools and some of the stuff you can do about it. So with the mesh selected, I come down here and go from object mode to sculpt mode. <clears throat> I've got some brushes here. Uh, let's just show you what the effects are. So if I come over here to F blob, that sort of um, adds, adds um, body to the hair. Uh, and then if I come over here and I, I can make my radius a little bit bigger, I can make my strength a little bit larger. Uh, and as you can see, it, it sort of adds you know, I could do a, a sort of Johnny Bravo situation right here if I really wanted to. Um, uh, F brush is a little more, a little more precise, but again, you know, you're you're adding stuff here. Um, and then if I wanted to come over here and I wanted to remove this, I can go from add to subtract, uh, take away some stuff. Um, uh, pretty much every every brush has that option. So earlier on F blob, I had it on add. You can see I'm adding some stuff here. Uh, then I can go to subtract and, and do the same thing, only in reverse. Uh, that's looking pretty bad right now. That's not that's not a problem. Um, I'm gonna skip over the rest of these. I want you to kind of play around with them. Something I want to show you is the F grab and this F thumb tools. Uh, if I choose F grab and I you know I've got this little piece selected and I come down. Uh, as you can see, it sort of stretches things out. It's almost like the proportional edit mode in that way. Uh, a little bit more fluid, a little e bit easier to use maybe. Um, if I've got my bamboo tablet out, which I don't, sometimes I go to the bamboo tablet and I use the, um, the pen to get some more precise movements. Uh, the F thumb tool is a lot like the F grab tool only it's a little bit more subtle so instead of being able to grab the whole hair or the you know a larger chunk here I can just you know slightly move stuff forward that's good if you just need to make minor edits or you know if an edge isn't lined up the way you want it to um, uh, yeah that's that's kinda it for today guys I just want to go over sort of the basics uh, and uh, I think we accomplished that. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time.